Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Hope you're having a great Saturday and on your way to having a great weekend. We're going to start off with the tropics and take a look at the two tropical systems that we're dealing with. The first one is Hurricane Franklin, which continues to strengthen. It's a presentation on the satellite has improved considerably over the last 24 hours, and it really is now taking the look of a, uh, well, almost Category 2 hurricane, and will likely get to major hurricane status over the next day or two. And uh, as advertised by many of the models, uh, we have a new tropical depression that has developed uh, in the Northwest Caribbean. It is at the moment stationary, but uh, as a depression, this system actually has a fairly decent satellite signature already. And uh, I think this is going to become Tropical Storm Idalia uh, by the time we get to uh, this time tomorrow, if not sooner. So let's do some close-ups here and take a look at, uh, first we'll look at Hurricane Franklin. And uh, if you look very closely, you can almost see what appears to be the beginnings of a pinprick eye uh, that is forming a good outflow. You see the feathering of the high clouds. In the outflow, there really doesn't look to be a whole lot of shear going on with this as it uh, continues to move on its way uh, to the north, uh, maybe uh, a little bit west of north, if my eyes are correct the way I'm looking at it. It appears that Franklin is going to take a track that will probably be well to the west of Bermuda and as a major hurricane. In fact, the Hurricane Center has it becoming a major hurricane uh, sometime tomorrow night and uh, keeping it that way as it passes to the west of Bermuda, but it's also well off the South and North Carolina coastline, and I imagine that we'll probably see the surf kicked up uh, this week along the eastern seaboard as Franklin is forecast to turn to the northeast from there and head well south of Nova Scotia and probably uh, well south of Newfoundland uh, as well. So uh, it, uh, we're not expecting, again, other than kicking up the surf, this is not going to be a problem. And also passing too far west of Bermuda to cause them any major issues other than kicking up the surf. 23.8 north, 67.5 west. Top winds are 85 miles an hour, moving north, northwest at 8. And as far as Tropical Depression 10, uh, that is at 21.1 north, 86.1 west. Uh, Cappy, uh, take, uh, top winds are 30 miles an hour at the moment. It's stationary, and it's probably going to remain uh, in a small area here uh, in terms of its motion or lack of motion, probably uh, right into early Monday morning. And then it's going to start moving northward, and it is going to strengthen, and it is going to become a hurricane as it moves northward and then turns northeast. It looks like the uh, Big Bend area of Florida is uh, at risk here uh, for a hurricane making landfall sometime Tuesday night or early, very early Wednesday morning, and then continuing <clears throat> to the northeast from there, uh, moving uh, up uh, into Georgia, south, southeast Georgia, and then eventually winding up later this week somewhere in eastern North Carolina. WPC on their rainfall forecast for the next seven days is indicating quite a bit of rain for North and South Carolina and for just about all of Georgia except the, the extreme Northwest. We're talking several to many inches of rain and also uh, big rains, obviously, for parts of the Florida Panhandle and the Florida West Coast of several to many inches as well. It's going to be very inter interesting to see what this system does because the waters in the eastern Gulf of Mexico are exceptionally warm and there's not a whole lot of shear in the upper atmosphere. So uh, this system has the potential to strengthen quite a bit. Uh, we'll see what it does between now and tomorrow afternoon. How quickly does it become a tropical storm? And that might give us at least an indicator of uh, how strong this, uh, this system is going to get. So as we uh, look at, uh, this is the European model. You can actually see both systems here, Franklin to the east uh, and the depression to the west uh, going into Monday afternoon. This is where uh, this, the uh, system in the uh, Northwest Caribbean begins its northward motion. Franklin well to the west of Bermuda, turning northeastward. And according to the European, actually passes fairly close to Bermuda. So we'll have to see if the Europeans write on this. And you can see the depression becoming a, a tropical storm uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Some of the hurricane models 
are actually strengthening this to a Category 3. I don't know if it gets there, uh, but uh, again, I think the next 48 hours in terms of how quickly it becomes a tropical storm could be an indicator as to what kind of strengthening we're going to see uh, over the first couple of days of next week. The landfall would probably come sometime uh, late Tuesday night or early Wednesday, although the uh, European model is a bit slower. And uh, it takes it off the North, the South Carolina, North Carolina coastline and just kind of moves it southeast and southward. So it doesn't look like none of the models want to take this up the East Coast. So uh, for now, uh, we're not uh, thinking along the lines of that this is going to be a, a weather maker uh, for the uh, for the Northeast and Northern Mid-Atlantic states for later this week, at least uh, from what we're seeing at the moment. So uh, as far as uh, weather's concerned for the next several days, just want to go back to the U.S. satellite view. And you can see the uh, northeast broke out into sunshine today. The first cold front is now offshore. There's another cold front that's coming through. Uh, and that's going to bring in some slightly drier air for Sunday. Not a whole lot drier, but slightly drier, uh, which is acceptable. And you also see uh, a buildup of some showers and some thunderstorms uh, in parts of southern Missouri and back through uh, western Kentucky and into Tennessee. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather there uh, and a marginal risk that goes uh, from uh, eastern Oklahoma all the way east into, Carol into the Carolinas uh, for tonight into Sunday morning. Uh, for tomorrow, uh, we're looking at a marginal risk from Alabama and Tennessee northeastward into North Carolina. The northeast, no thunderstorms are forecast. The general thunderstorm line makes it into southernmost New Jersey and southern Pennsylvania. And that'll probably be more for, say, later Sunday night or early Monday morning rather than uh, during the day tomorrow. And then on uh, day three, uh, which is uh, the period from Monday into Tuesday, again, no thunderstorms being forecast for Monday in the northeast. Uh, southern New Jersey southward and general thunderstorms from Louisiana northeastward to South Carolina, we're looking at a marginal risk for severe weather. So uh, carrying this forward, uh, we uh, have a nice high building in for tomorrow, uh, bringing us a, a pretty decent day. Winds are going to turn to more easterly uh, starting tomorrow, uh, later tomorrow, tomorrow night and Monday and probably lasting into Tuesday. So that's going to help to hold temperatures down a bit. I'm thinking highs will be only in the 70s going forward Monday and Tuesday. And then uh, as the weather front just kind of buckles back northward we'll watch to see if some uh, rain and thunderstorms back northward on Tuesday uh, there you see Franklin going out and ultimately we'll get into a nice dry air mass for Wednesday Thursday and Friday and if you want to go long range for the Labor Day holiday weekend uh, much of the east looking good for the Labor Day holiday weekend uh, as uh, that high pulls out, the winds go westerly, and we may actually see a couple of days of warmer temperatures uh, going into, uh, uh, let's say, Sunday and Monday. Uh, and then another front will come through and another high will build in after that. So the tropics are busy. Uh, we're going to, of course, keep our uh, eyes on all of this uh, in the coming days. The Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back tomorrow evening. We moved the Sunday show, which used to be at 11 a.m., we have moved it to 7.35 p.m., so it matches uh, the weekday schedule, which is Sunday through Thursday at 7.35. Fridays and Saturdays, we're off unless there's something going on. Uh, and then if there is, Joe and I will do a special show. So have a great rest of your weekend. We will uh, see you uh, hopefully tomorrow.